Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? Before I get going, I just want to bring up the comments. Now, a lot of comments have been getting deleted by the system, either bad language or sometimes people put links or hashtags. Those will be automatically removed. So avoid hashtags and links in your comments. Also, I noticed with a lot of comments, people putting words close together like it's one word and then it turns blue. I think that's seen as a link or a hashtag. So try to avoid that if you see it going blue when you're typing it, okay? And it's probably going to end up being deleted. So I just wanna help you to avoid that. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's happening with you, the energies around you, Sagittarius. I see joyous fun, so as a positive energy. <laughs> having a lot of fun so it looks very positive and I see somebody a little back and forth in the sacred temple so somebody here and it's funny because I can see the roller coaster you know, we have a seven here is the energy so you now this is an energy of, of somebody here trying to figure out their intentions this is someone back and forth can't make up their mind so this has to do there's some kind of obstacles or challenges here but it's about going to the sacred temple this is like teamwork cooperation compromise it has to do with commitment so very interesting but this is interesting itself i see the joy is fun but you can see the wheels turning the roller coaster <laughs> yeah on and off back and forth someone who can't make up their mind about commitment or if they have something in common uh, but i feel there's obstacles so it's an energy of i feel spirit guiding somebody to overcome these obstacles whatever they are and it's also an energy of someone having more fun in their life youthful playful energy yeah, I can see an energy of control. So this has to do with control. So it's an energy of a person who's feeling very determined, okay? But something here may have gotten out of control where, you know, someone can't make up their mind. They're trying to control their feelings. They're determined to move forward, but I feel they're kind of losing control. It has to do with someone's intentions. Now, you may be trying to figure out someone's intentions, okay? So don't try to control this. Just control the emotions. Don't be ruled by them. Yeah. So someone wanting success, see, they're determined. Now this has to do with partnering up, but it's about letting go of that need to control everything. Okay, by controlling the emotion, see, getting these, getting these two oxen going in the same direction. Yeah, so there we have on and off, here for a good time, not a long time. So this is somebody who can't make up their mind. Okay, so it could be somebody here also too being playful and flirty. So this is an energy of someone who's determined. There is some good news here. I mean, this is generally positive news, a positive person, but it could be someone who isn't ready. They can't make up their mind. So if you're trying to figure this out, this person likely doesn't really know what they want just yet. Yeah, but they're, they're, this isn't a person who's trying to, you know, they could be a little out of control because they're just really determined here because you can see this is someone coming in with flowers. See, they're definitely moving along here, pretty positive, feeling pretty good. So it's about being playful and flirty. But see, this is the way somebody likely came in, but that back and forth. This is someone looking for fun. You know, they just want to have a good time, but they're not really, you know, thinking. They could be a little out of control. They're not really thinking a lot about um, uh, the love here. They're definitely a person focused on that physical <laughs> but the, you know it, it they are a positive person so I feel with the love here I can see this choice in love this bond this connection back and forth it could be someone who's back and forth between two people they can't make up their mind it has to do with feeling safe and secure partnering up this person has your best interest see it's about coming in right somebody didn't come in right it's a person who's not quite ready for a commitment see they're not quite ready they want this they like it they're definitely playful they're fun you can have a lot of fun with this person you can have a lot of fun with them but i like i say they could be back and forth between two people they don't come in right they're not quite ready for a commitment but someone's starting to think about that <laughs> their choices in love hmm yeah see we have you know, the queen of cups here this is someone wanting love so it has to do with reciprocity it's about coming in right. It has to do with looking at whether this person's right for you. I feel that if someone is just not quite ready. 
they're they're enthusiastic they're charming maybe they're younger than you <laughs> yeah so don't be ruled by your emotions okay don't make a decision <laughs> somebody may not be quite right or ready for a commitment but it's about doing what's right for you too making a choice so you may feel like somebody here is isn't quite right but yet you know i, I can see they have some really good qualities there we have the three of cups, friends and family socializing, see, getting together. This is somebody who could be going back and forth, you know, someone being ruled by their ego. They're chasing, you see, chasing something here. It's an energy of long-term planning and success. So I feel somebody here didn't get something they wanted because they didn't come in right. You want them to come in right. I feel like you're open to this. I see you looking on the past with kindness and compassion. It's definitely some love, but you want love. You don't want someone who's just coming in for fun. It can be fun, but, you know, we can see that it doesn't always last. I see other people being involved, friends and family, but this is about dating and courting, socializing, you know, getting together, some kind of an event here. So it has to do with the things you have in common. This is it. There you are, Sag. So you want something successful. This is where I feel, you know, it has to do with kind of being free, maybe setting yourself free from this situation. But I feel it has to do with this person. They have a little bit of an ego. They likely love the attention. See, they love the attention. If you don't give them what they want, they'll get it from somewhere else. So it really looks like they're just not ready. There it is. It has to do with being strong, being confident. See, it has to do with, I feel, making some kind of decision. Yeah, you want someone who knows what they want. So they're confident about how they feel. So I feel like you're going to break free from a situation. There's a choice, a life path decision. It looks like some of you have a choice between two or someone else does. But we've got a couple here. We have a king of cups. Now, i got to be honest. This is someone who will often drop someone like a hot potato if something better comes along. If you don't give them the attention they want, they'll get it elsewhere. Or you could be in that energy. You want love. You want reciprocity. But we do have a couple. Now, this is a person who's definitely, you know, in their feelings. Absolutely. But it has to do with this person being confident about those feelings. You need them to be confident. You see, maybe it's yourself that's not so much. And it could be because of the way they communicate. Now, they come in kind of, this is someone who comes in kind of out of the blue sometimes. So I feel it has to do with this energy of control. You see, not being ruled by the emotion. See, this is somebody here who likely lost control. It's a person who just follows their passion. You know, they like what they see. They just go for it. <laughs> it's playful. It's youthful. It's having a good time. You can have fun with this person. You can have a lot of fun with them. But the thing is, is will they commit? So it looks like there's some kind of a choice here. They may have a couple choices, and it could be yourself too. Like I see, this is your energy here, Sag. But this has to do with something that wasn't successful, moving towards something that is. Long-term planning. See, it's an energy of being free. Somebody here is definitely being ruled by their ego. <laughs> you see, it's a life path choice, a decision between two. It's about choosing somebody who's right. And it's also how someone approaches, the way they, I feel, the way they kind of come in and communicate. So pretty interesting energy here. I'm going to pull out charms. This week I'm going to clarify with charms. So let's have a look at the chariot. We have the letter P, the letter I, W. There it is, long term. See, the infinity symbol. So it has to do with confidence and manifesting. by not. It's manifesting this by not letting your emotions rule you. Okay, you being in control of your emotions. This is someone who's a little out of control. They don't like to be controlled. They like to do their own thing. If you don't, they don't get what they want from you, they'll get it somewhere else. So if you want someone who's committing, you may need to break free from this because I do see three people here in an energy of three, but I see this is often an event, an invitation, and dating. See, planning a, some kind of a date here. This is someone who's planning, hoping it's successful. You see? So if something isn't, this is where you move on. There's a choice. I feel like you have a choice because I do see someone here being confident about their feelings. You see, somebody's more confident than the other. This is sometimes a person who's overly confident. <laughs> you see, <laughs> interesting. Uh, the letter Y. So there's asking the questions why. So I feel it's just saying to, you know, it's a person who's determined. You can see their determination. 
but you have to be strong too. You have to be determined. They need to come in right. So it has to do with some kind of commitment. It's about being fair. Yeah, there's the letter D. There's the transformation, the butterfly. Some kind of transformation. Let's have a look at this partnership. This is energy of feeling safe and secure. This has to do with whether someone's reliable, if they have your best interest at heart. You see? Yeah, it's an energy of slowing down. Someone out of control, they need to slow down. You see? Oh, interesting. It could be you or them. This could go either way. Oh, so there it is. It has to do with love. See, this is an energy of love. I feel this is someone who's, you can have fun with this person. Absolutely. They can be a lot of fun. They can have a great sense of humor. They're very positive, you know, they kind of step light, you know. <laughs> I just, I like the, I like the energy, but the thing is, is I don't think this person's ready uh, to commit. So there's another transformation, butterfly, some more change, see, some kind of change, see. This is, like I say, there could be someone who starts slowing down a little, but I feel it has to do with you making a choice or a decision here. Not just ruled on your emotions, okay? Not just following your heart, because I feel like this is someone who, oh yes, they're very charming. <laughs> and we have the letter G and the letter B and the letter L. Now there's the ego. See the ego. <laughs> A little full of themselves. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, they like the chase. This is someone who likes the chase. Then if you give them what they want, they'll probably start slowing down. So I feel it has to do with just taking things slow, making sure this person has your best interest at heart. If they don't, you know, if they don't want to take it slow, like I say, you may need to break free. This is someone who's a bit of a free spirit. You see, they don't like to be controlled either. So and I don't think you do either. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Gemini, and Libra. Let's have another one on that page of wands, yeah, the letter I. It could be initials, okay, confirmation, but it has to ego. They're a little full of themselves, a little hot air. <laughs> oh, they may be very attractive, and they're attracted to that too, you see. <laughs> Let's have a look at the joyous fun. Interesting the way this comes out. So there's the glasses, the seeing. So this is somebody seeing. See, seeing things here. Seeing things clearly, taking off the rose-colored glasses. Yeah, it has to do with love. It has to do with somebody being confident about their feelings, emotions. Yeah, see, there's the tower, the epiphany, and there's the star. Knowing your worth and value. You see, the tower, that epiphany, that sudden realization, they're just looking for a good time. They may not stick around, but they don't really know. They just know that they're, you know, they're coming in quick here. Very fiery. Oh, they're a charmer. Let's have a look at the Gemini energy. Yeah, the letter Y. So the lovers. So it has to do with this crown. So this has to do, see, this is an energy of the crown. It has to do with, I feel this person leveling up. See, taking something to the next level. It has to do with confidence. I feel it's someone who's overly confident they're going to get what they want. So don't give this, do not, unless this person's ready to make some kind of commitment, I would be very careful about giving this person uh, all of yourself, offering yourself to this person, because we know the Queen of Cups loves to nurture and care, loves to take care of somebody, okay? But you want to really make sure that you're getting something out of this, because I feel this person is definitely someone who may not stick around. So it has to do about choices and love, whether someone's right for you or not. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> you know, they don't. They're, you know, they don't. They just, this is somebody who just kind of goes for it and they probably find you attractive. You know, there's something that they're drawn to you. It's an energy where this person's drawn, you know. But like I say, it's, I feel like you've got a choice with someone who's more confident about their feelings, somebody who's more mature, because I don't think this is someone who's the most mature, and it's possible they could level up, kind of growing up a little, leveling up. You know, there we have the mask, so the fan. is also someone who likes a lot of attention. You know, they're their own biggest fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hiding behind a little bit of a mask, more than likely. Let's have a look at the... 
justice, the letter S, the letter J. There's music, something to do with music. Could be a party, a celebration, some kind of joyous fun. See, they like to have fun. They're playful, they're youthful, they're so fun to be around. So they could be a musician or something here as well. They have fans, they have a lot of attention. They get a lot of attention, they're used to being chased. But this is someone who often likes the chase and then if somebody else comes after them, they can drop you like a hot potato. Little caution there. There it is, the yin and yang. See whether someone's right for you, whether they're a good fit. You see, see, that's the energy, but it has to do with balance. Interesting the way those two came out. Making sure they're right here, you know. They need to come in right. They need to be looking for love. This is a bond, a connection between two people. This is often a person who just wants friends with benefits, but they may have other choices. If you don't give them what they want, they'll get it somewhere else. But it's also with yourself. See, they're not giving you a lot of attention. They may be giving it to someone else. So I feel this is where you're going to maybe put the brakes on a little bit here. You know, you want love. You want a bond and a connection. You're looking for reciprocity. Okay, you could be the king. You could be the queen here. So take it as it resonates. There it is, a little sage energy. This is like temperance, okay? It's all about balance. See, staying still, not moving. So it's about taking a little pause, pulling back, feeling something is off, where you feel something isn't right. See? Possibly putting on the brakes a little bit here. They don't like to be controlled. Okay, they don't. Then I do feel they could be a little out of control. It could be the way they drive. They may drive a hot car, things like that. <laughs> the ego. Let's have a look at the Three of Cups. We have the letter M and the transformation. See, this is the transformation breaking free. This is energy of not chasing, not chasing this person. They're, I think they love the chase. This is someone who loves the chase. But if you don't give them the attention they want, they'll drop you and choose someone else. Likely vice versa too, I feel. You, know, you got some common energy. <laughs> they could have a little Sag in their chart, but I do see Aries and Leo here possibly as well. You know, see, there it is, the flower. Oh, they bring you flowers. They're very sweet. Absolutely. And the letter H wants to come out there. So I'm going to go back down here to the Six of Wands. So it's about paying attention to the red flags, looking at the things you have in common. Cooperation, compromise. Do you complement each other? Yeah, there's the cycle ending. See the roller coaster on and off where you start to see, see back and forth. They come in on and off when they want attention. They love the chase. Okay, this person loves the chase. It makes them feel good. Probably makes them feel youthful. I mean, this doesn't mean that they're youthful. They could be younger than you. Okay, I mean, this could even be yourself. Maybe you like the chase. <laughs> yeah, there we have, see, somebody putting their best foot forward. See, it's about approaching, taking a step further, taking it to the next level. This is somebody who likes to move pretty quickly. And I feel like some of you are going to put on the brakes here. There it is. See, long-term manifesting. See, being strong, being confident. Yeah. I don't think this person's as confident as they appear because that's sometimes the ego. You know, there we have the abundance. This is an energy of abundance and also financial stability. It has to do with being a partner, being stable financially. Yeah. Interesting the way that came out. Let's have a look at this back and forth, their intentions. I don't think they know. <laughs> there's a yeah they're here for a good time see the smiling yeah so, so they're i mean anytime you spend with this person they're likely happy but are they making you happy that's a thing i feel it has really has a lot to do with them there's the energy of the the book the open book their habit tradition the way they conduct themselves back and forth on and off yeah so it has to do with um being on the same page, getting each other, okay? The things that you have in common. Do you complement each other, okay? Is this something worth, you know, exploring further? But I feel it has to do with taking it to the next level. This is someone who often runs away when it's time to take it to the next level, when it's time to commit. So really take your time with this person. They could level up, okay? There's definitely someone who's exploring their feelings, but I feel there's other people involved. Yeah, on and off. So I see the cycle possibly coming to an end. See, this is an energy of taking the step, the next step, the next level. See? 
Well, something long term. It has to do with, you know, commitment, marriage. Here we have love. And the letter F. The letter P. Oop, there's that cup. That's the opportunity. This person could drink a little bit too, so watch that. When I see the two together, sometimes it's a person who loves to be indulged, to give me intention, indulge me, give me what I want. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have to pull in your own inner strength here and be really strong. I feel like if you give this person what they want, there's a, like I say, it's time to take it to the next level. They're probably going to run. The letter F. The letter G, now there's the communication, some kind of a communication here with the bird, okay? I just want to look at this back and forth some more. Their intentions. D, A, there's the, the omen. The, the, this is a good omen here because you're going to see this, that there's something not quite right. Some, you know, has to do with them not coming in right. Has to about, it has to do with balance and being fair. Little Gemini Libra energy there. See, it has to do with commitment. See, committing back and forth. This is someone who keeps coming back around. I can see it. And there we have the owl. So it's about being wise. See, being very wise, seeing things clearly, taking off the rose-colored glasses. I feel like you probably know. But it has to do with a commitment, some kind of an agreement. So this could be somebody who's, you know, I don't think you're going to be on the same page here because uh, I feel like this is somebody who just wants friends with benefits. Yeah, when they just when they just want to come in when they want attention. But the thing is, is where are they when they're not with you? So what are their intentions? Can you feel safe and secure with this person? Because you want love. See, maybe slow down just a little bit. The turtle. It also has to do with someone focused on their finances. A lot of focus on, on finances. Um, you know, the future stability, partnering up. Yeah, some kind of transformation energy right here. Some kind of change where I feel like you're putting on the brakes. Now, like I say, it could be someone who comes back around. Maybe you're feeling that there's some kind of change. But I, I feel like you're going to put the brakes on. <laughs> I mean, it could be them, too, when it's time to take it to the next level, you see. <laughs> it's like things kind of got a little out of control here. There's definitely passion, physical attraction, but it has to do with love, okay? And there we have the music. So something to do with music. I don't know if this is a musician or you both like the same kind of music. I definitely feel this romantic energy, like, I feel like, you know, a little whining and dining, a little bit of romance, dating and courting in a traditional manner, doing things a little more traditional. This is someone who doesn't really play by the rules, okay? They don't necessarily do things the way other people do. Uh, there's the judgment, the call, the communication, some kind of judgment and decision. Has to do with this person being confident about their feelings, Maybe they're not so confident that you're right for them. It could. There's definitely a vice versa element. The sacred temple. There we have, there's that flower, the rose. So there's definitely romance. But see, this is the energy of committing, the things you have in common. Do they complement you, your lifestyle, your habits? You see, your, your structure, routine, and your beliefs here. But it has to do with having faith. I'm not so sure this person's the most faithful. Somebody's not super faithful here, if at all. Yeah. And it could be they don't have faith in the self because that's why I feel they're kind of reining it in. They're trying to um, feel confident. But I feel this, you've got a person who comes across more confident because of their ego, okay, than they actually are. But there's the letter T. There again is the judgment, the decision, the communication. So there's going to be some kind of judgment or communication this is someone who's a little full of themselves i have to be honest they toot their own horn they probably talk a lot about themselves <laughs> but you know they don't come into this looking to cause harm it, i don't see that energy it's just it's up to the person receiving that has to realize that 
you know, this is someone who's followed by their passions. When they see something, they like it, they kind of go for it. They don't really stop to think about it. But they're, the fact is, is they are a lot of fun, but they're looking for a good time. You see, if they don't have that good time with you and you don't give them what they want. But it also looks like they're not giving you a lot of attention. You see, they're not giving you the attention you need. Sacred Temple, the letter J, the letter K. There's the letter E and K again. You can make these into words. You can grab all these letters, take your time and form some words, see if anything resonates. Um, there's a lot of letters, a lot of duplicate letters, but I feel the energy is taking things slow, making sure they have your best interest, that they're actually looking for love, okay, for a bond, a connection. I actually feel this could turn into love, but I do feel like, you know, this is where it has to be fair. There's some kind of agreement that needs to be fair for both people. You need to feel safe and secure. You need something stable. This person's not that stable, <laughs> Okay, maybe financially they are, but not when it comes to their love life. Wow. Yeah, I feel there's going to be some kind of a decision, uh, some kind of communication. And I do see abundance. I do see financial stability. This person has money. Okay, so there's something to do with that abundance, the grapes. This person like, might, might like to drink wine, so be careful. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's interesting how that, I don't normally connect the two, but I did. Yeah, they could drink a lot too. I would watch that energy. But I, like I say, watch out for drinking and driving with this person too. Okay, they may not be safe to drive with. Yeah. Tell me more about justice. Yeah, there's the heart. See, coming in right. See, making the right decision for yourself from the heart. I can see kind of following your heart. You want love, but you want a bond and a connection. You want that connection. Some of you just want to be free, though. I can see some of you just want to be free. You see, if this person doesn't give you the attention, you're the one who's going to go get it somewhere else. In fact, you could end up moving towards the King of Cups. It could be the same person leveling up because I can see someone who runs away when it's time to take it to the next level. Oh, they may even feel the love here, but yeah. There we have, there's the swan, which is often an empress energy or, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It has to do with, you know, maybe you're going to cut somebody out here, you see, because they won't take it to the next level. Somebody wants to rush to the next level before they commit. That's the issue, you see. But there's the, the letter A. Now, this has to do with taking things to the next level long term. It has to do with commitment. You know, commitment. You're, you're forever person. There is a couple here. This is two people who want the same thing. I just think this is someone who's not ready. Now, if this has been something that has been an on and off, it's possible this is someone who's moving away. Okay. Moving, maybe moving, relocating to another community. But it looks like someone moving away from other options. Because there's some kind of transformation here to do with taking the things a step further. It has to do with somebody who kind of likes to have things their way. But the, I feel it has to do with both people getting what they want. If you both agree, see, it's something you both may agree on. Or making some kind of commitment that it's just the two of you. Maybe you don't want to get married. Maybe, you know, that there could be a lot of energy here where you want love. But maybe you're not really yourself. Maybe you're not ready to get married you know, or to commit. But I feel it has to do with a commitment with two people, um, especially if it's friends with benefits. Like you got to be careful with that whole friends with benefits because when you don't see someone, they move really slow. You don't see them often. Who are they with? Where have they been? You see, that's what I feel like because you know, it's asking the questions, wanting to know why. See, this is someone who who likes a lot of attention they have they have people chasing them they love the attention and if you stop giving them attention you know they're going to look to see who you're giving it to so and it could be the king of cups but i feel it has to do with this person getting in touch with their feelings here so it does look like a leveling up kind of growing up making a choice in love but this is a person i gotta be honest they're a bit of a free spirit they're on their own path may not be on the same page. So it's telling you to look at that, asking why, what their intentions are, what it is they want, where they see themselves in the future. And that's where I feel it is. So, 
Yeah, we know the Queen and King of Cups both long for love. But I see the paws looking to see if you're a good fit, if you balance each other out, if you complement each other's lifestyles, the way you live your day-to-day -day lives, your structure, your routine. The smile tells me there's something positive here. Someone kind of smiling upon this energy. Yeah, I feel like you're not going to give this person attention. I don't think you're going to chase them. In fact, they're going to have to come towards you. But I still see a bit of a runner. And it's funny, that sad energy is yours. So it really could be you being a little bit of a runner, not quite ready, just having a good time. <laughs> so I do see the glasses, seeing the tower, the aha moment, you know. But that's often that sudden realization where you take off the rose-colored glasses and see you know, after on and off that they may not have your best interests at heart. They may never commit. You've got choices here, I feel. There's choices here. I see the double W, which often is the world, the energy of moving on. Uh, the letter C and the letter J. Uh, lots of letters coming out. So this is likely going to, there's going to be some messages here, hidden messages that'll pertain to yourself. Uh, just give it a chance to play out. But I do feel this is someone a little full of themselves. <laughs> I think they talk about themselves uh, quite a lot here. Yeah, they love, if you give them attention, oh yeah, they love it. They absolutely love it. Yeah, there's the, yeah, they're their own biggest fan too. But they do have a, I do feel if they are, because I see music, if they're a musician, they have fans, people chasing them. See? So it's saying, don't chase this person. Let this person be, find out, you know, become confident about their feelings and their emotions. Because it's like they're trying to, not lose control they're trying to rein in those feelings too. try not to get emotionally invested chances are you know they will but this is also a person who's pretty confident about who they are and what they want so a little caution okay lots of letters to figure this out so go ahead and share those if you want you see a bunch of words here i'm not really seeing a whole lot i see a lot of duplicate letters but it's about balance, whether you're a good fit, whether you fit in their life, you see, back and forth. Ask the questions need to be asked. Ask why, what it is they want. Don't be, okay, be wise. It's telling you to be wise, to see, okay? Back and forth. They may not have the best intentions or what I really feel is they can't make up their mind. And if there is a choice, they can't make up their mind between you and someone else or you can't. So if that's the case, it's telling you to kind of take a pause pull back and look at things differently okay maybe it's time to try something different this is like temperance just being patient see making someone be patient you know always know if someone's patient before taking it to the next level they're definitely someone looking more for love and they're also somebody who's more um, sincere okay so it has to do with their level of sincerity so i wish you the best i feel like you're, you're going to figure this out here sag okay but like I say, it could be you or them feeling that way. In fact, both of you could be in that energy where you're not really ready for a commitment. Maybe you both just want to have a good time. But you have to look at the stability, the safety and security. I, I don't feel this person, it's not money issues so much. I feel like they're a little out of control. They don't like to be controlled. See, they like to be free, free to choose their own path. And I know you're very much like that too. But there it is. This is what popped up. See, committing. They need to commit to something. Building the foundation. They need to commit. They need to offer you something stable. You see, stability. Yeah, an emperor. You got an emperor energy. But this is often a person who likes their cake and eat it too. Okay, they have choices. They get chasey. They're definitely, I feel they are financially stable. But this is also, because we're at the end of this reading, this is someone who's figuring out what they want. When they're ready to go for it, they'll go for it, okay? Yeah, you can't make this person do anything. It looks like an Aries, Taurus energy, maybe an Aries, Taurus, Cusp, Gemini. I just feel they're not quite ready. They'll make up their mind when they're ready, the emperor. But like I say, they have to offer something stable. They need to be confident about what they want, okay? So it looks like there's someone leveling up. So like I say, safety and security first, stability, partnering up. And I see love. It's funny how that came out. Love. You see? 
but it's an energy of someone taking moving a little bit slow this is a person who's often focused more on their finances than they are their love life they just you know they go out and socialize have fun when they have time um, but that's the level you have an emperor here but i i like i say emperors often especially in the heart of the reading with this person energy it's about them coming in right committing see they need to commit and I feel, I mean, maybe this is someone who's ready to commit. They've leveled up. Okay. Maybe it's yourself. You're not quite ready because you're not so sure. Maybe you're not confident. But I, I feel it has to do with them being confident about their feelings. So there is somebody leveling up here. And if you have a choice, choose the person who you, I, I feel, know that they're confident. Because they're coming sincere. They come in right. They offer you something solid. They're building the foundation. Starting things off right. Putting their best foot forward. See? Taking it to the next level. But I do feel like that. I, I feel their intentions are good. But I still feel they might run. Okay? So ask the questions that need to be asked. Don't give this person too much. Don't offer yourself up on the platter if you're not into friends with benefits. Okay. You might have to put up some very strong boundaries too. Often I see that as boundaries, committing. <laughs> some kind of commitment. There's the ring. <laughs> I wish you the best. Bye for now.